Hey guys, video eight for the Salvation Series. I want to focus on James chapter two, verse 19, where the Bible reads, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. And I want to show that this may be probably one of the most dangerous verses I've heard uh, preachers use to show, well, you can't just believe when the Bible is very clear. In fact, if you read the book of John, pretty much every single page is talking about just believing on Jesus Christ. John 1, 12, just to name a few, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. The most famous verse in the Bible, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 36, he that believeth on the son, hath, present tense, everlasting life. You get it the moment you believe. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So the Bible is very clear all throughout the book of, of John. Uh, you, you have um, John 5, 24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him, on him that sent me, hath, present tense, everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is past, present tense, from death unto life. The very moment you believe, you're past from death unto life. And I'll hear preachers use James 2.19 um, as a way of saying, well, you can't just believe, because clearly the devils believe and they tremble. Thou believest that there is one God, and thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. It's so dangerous because the same preachers who say that will admit we're not saved by works, but let's look at the verse before and the verse after. The verse before says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Now, the Bible is very clear that it's speaking to saved people, taking that faith that's in you, and I'm going to show you that faith by my works. I'm going to give you the gospel. I'm going to preach the gospel. I'm not, I'm not just going to say I'm saved. I, wanna, I want what's inside me, I want it to come out. I want to give it out. That's what a dispensation is, the giving out of something. I want to dispense what God has put in me. Then it says, thou believest there's one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. In verse 20, it says, but wilt thou, o, or, but wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? So you got to be very careful when you tell somebody, well, you can't just believe because if you use it in context, then you're saying, well, you got to do, you got to also have works. You got to also have works. Look, the devil, first of all, cannot be saved. The devil was a created being. He was created with pipes built in him. He was a musician before the Lord, and his intended purpose when God created him is to solely give glory to God. He gave God not the glory, but he exalted himself above God, and he and a third of his angels were cast, or a third of the angels were cast out of heaven because he gave God not the glory, and pride was lifted up in himself. Okay, he cannot be saved. Okay, the devil just can't. You don't think that the devil believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? He knows that very well. This is literally just giving you an example of yes, now that you're saved, you believe great. The devils do that too. But show your faith by your works. Once you're saved, you need to have works. This is talking about the next step. It is not talking about salvation needing to accompany works to be saved. Okay, that is very important because when you tell someone, see, the devils believe too. You can't just believe. You also have to have the works. Okay, you also have to repent of all your sins. You also have to be really, really sorry for your sin. That is very dangerous, God, because the Bible is very clear. All you need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. This is literally talking about after you're saved, you need to show that salvation by your works.